thought I was supposed to feel better for having a night out. Of course you do. <laughs> do I? <laughs> I mean, apart from my thick head and my churning stomach. Mm. Ian, everything was fine here. There were no desperate calls from Phil or Zoe. Yes. Oh, she's left the flipping jugs cabinet open. It's hardly a disaster, is it? It's the first rule, Emily. Paddy! What? Zoe? 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 Thank you. See ya. One for you, none for me, or one for you. It's a bill, you can have it. Yeah, you're all right, thanks. That's from Arts Cultural College. You invite me to an open night tomorrow. Ah, well done, lad. Yeah, they don't know about my record yet. Well, there's no reason they should find out, is there? It'd be great if I got in. Of course you would. Come on, then. Get on with it. Oh, cheers. Come on, Zoe. Who is it? It's me, Emily. Paddy's here too. Why are you all laughing at me? Believe me, Zoe, we are not laughing. I'm all crowding in on me. You're not making sense. It'd be that, won't it? Playing at Zoe? You've not taken this, have you? What is it? Tranquilizer. Zoe? 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 Have you taken anything else? Following the doctor. No. So, I've no choice, have I? No. I said no doctors. Are you um still working on those flats for Ray Mullen? Yeah, but Matt keeps skiving off to do a foreigner for Angie Reynolds. What do you think of Ray? Pays up when he says he will, which is pretty novel in our game. He's okay then. Why? Do you fancy him? You're joking? <laughs> nah, I know what you mean. He's all right, but he doesn't take any mess in. Just gives you that look. That, that'd be Mike. See ya. I'll walk you in. It's OK. Well, can we meet in the pub for lunch? Why? Oh, so me and Louise can talk about lippy colours while you and Ray strut your stuff? It before. No. I needed some peace. So uh, you were supposed to be on call and I trusted you. I think I'll go home for a bit. What you what what just like that? Paddy. What was So was it That's the office diary. What did you do that for? I don't remember. Well maybe it fell at Weston, did it? Anyone want a coffee? That's not what you're gonna say. I'll sort it. Or what? Sorry. Can you do me a favour? Am I? I'm feeling slightly under the weather. Oh, you've got a hangover. Brilliant, me and all. It's a good night, wasn't it? Can you go over and apologise to Mrs. Hope? Tell her I'll be a bit late. Of course. And I won't tell her you wrecked. Ta. Right, Zoe, um, I'd like you to collect your things and then drop your keys off before you leave the premises. What? I'm suspending you. You're just Paddy Kirk. Leave! Now, please! How long is this gonna go on, then, you wanting to be a gardener? What are you saying it like that for? A gardener, like it's the lowest of the low. Well, I didn't mean it like that. It's just a bit sudden, that's all. You were quite happy being a mechanic till a couple of weeks ago. Was I? When he was lately, love pottering about the allotments after me. He's a bright lad. So? You need brains to be a proper gardener. What was all that about the other day, then? You not wanting to do manual labour in? I don't mean just pulling weeds. There's landscaping, there's garden design. Look, as long as he finds something he enjoys doing. Yeah, at least I'd be left alone. I'll have to creep around some flash git who's only interested in making money. That is unless you want me back inside. What do you mean by that? He means Scott's just out for himself. Hey, this one, if you like. Ought to keep it together if he does. Hey, when are you going to come and finish off the guttering? Hey, I'm doing this in my spare time, you know. I think I'll have gone deaf without your incessant banging and your lousy singing when you do eventually finish. Well, we can arrange an encore if you like. 
What, the price is you two charge? No, you're flashing shot on the roof, love. Oh, here we go. Loosen a couple of slates while you were up there, then. Only a copper would be that cynical, eh, mate? Mm-hmm, that's me. Does it really need doing? It's not good, love. There you are, expert opinion. How much? Well, I wouldn't stitch you up. I wouldn't dare. You'll guarantee it, though? Well, let's talk about it later in the pub, eh? What I will guarantee is that I won't stop singing, cos, uh, you know, when I'm in the company of a beautiful woman, that's that effect on me. You should go and do a bit of work for Edna Birch. That'll quieten you down a bit. Right. No wrong with Edna, eh? I have to be getting off for work soon. It's not even opening time yet. Mm, shelves to fill, barrels to check, menus to put out. You're worth more than that. Oh. Bob reckons I'm made for it. Well, that's all right, then, if Bob reckons you're made for it. Is that really what you want to do for the rest of your life? Um, isn't it a bit early for a question like that? Is it? It depends. On what? Or who. What do you want to be doing for the rest of your life? It depends. On whether or not you get caught. Oh, sorry. Just have to be a bit more careful who I associate with. Hey, Paddy. Uh, have you seen the diary? I don't know where I'm at. Turn the gun. You all right? I'm going to have to tell you, Anna. Um, me and Zoe have had a small disagreement. About what? She, um, this goes no further. Not Marlon. You don't have to tell me. She's used something from the drugs cabinet. On herself. Uh, is she OK? Well, I've had to ask her not to come into work, but she's going to mean more work for you to do. And you? Why did she do it? I don't know. Giving up trying to fathom her. To be honest, I've always thought she was a bit odd. Honestly, Bronner, if you'd have met her two years ago, you wouldn't have recognised her. She's just falling to pieces. Hi, gang. Oh, you look rough, Rona. Nicola, just shush a minute, will you? We're all going to have to pull together for a bit. Why? What's up? Zoe won't be at work for a while. Oh, she's scarving again. And we can do without your snidey little remarks. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, you can rely on me. So what's she done this time? Well, I don't think it's a secret that Zoe's not been herself for some time. I said she was bonkers. And that, that is exactly the sort of thing that I will not tolerate. Not in the surgery or anywhere. Yes, Mr Kirk. <sighs> she's turned into a right Bible basher. I mean, I know she's always gone to church, but this is somewhere else. Oh, and if I ever show signs of turning into a holy roller, you crack me over the head with a cricket bat or something. Oi! You're taking about as much notice of me as Zoe. Sorry. What's up? Scott being his usual charming self? Nah. Not in the way you think, anyway. Yep, I thought it might be down to him. He's been doing work on stolen cars, right? Oh, yeah. Does his mother know? But there's some really nasty people involved. Who? Don't matter. Just, just feel like I'm looking over my shoulder all the time. You know what you need? You need a change of scenery and a few bevies. <sighs> you reckon? And I know just the place. Oh, don't tell me. Some poncy do that Chris don't want to go to. Oh, I'm not that predictable, am I? How about it? Tomorrow night? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should stay in. Scott's making it out as if it's not getting to him, but I know it is. Yeah, that's exactly why you should come, cos it'll be all moody, and anything you say that's constructive, he'll just treat you like a moron. How do you know? Because they all do. <laughs> well, Paddy's been telling me what you've been up to. Well, he would, wouldn't he? You're all in it together. What? With your whispering campaigns. All we've done is be too blasted soft, too willing to turn a blind eye. You're a junkie. I'm not good. You all know that. You're not even coherent. How long have you been taking that stuff? I mean, I should have seen it, and that clinic certainly should have. What difference if it's the poison at the surgery or the poison they gave me? Oh, don't be so stupid and self-centred. You're an embarrassment, but that's up to you. Your choice, as you'd fashionably say. But it's not up to me, and it's certainly not up to my son. Joseph. No wonder he's been having nightmares after your drug fueled religious rants. And you can get out of here before he gets back. Go on, get out! Get out of here!
last one. He's all tired, is he? Yeah. No way. No, don't tell anybody. Get your drink. You know? No, I'm all right, mate. Same as usual, please, Bob. Might get a postcard from Diane. So? She's pining after me. Oh, the holiday must be a disappointment. Well, there's no real men there. Hey, we got a card too, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Asking if you were uh, behaving yourself. Come on, Bob, you know me better than that. I mean, all the time I was working for your Vivian after you split up, and you not once did I misbehave, eh, Sydney? No, not really. My Vivian's got scruples. She wouldn't entertain you. She's got scruples, all right. Yeah, all right, big pair. Smart Alex. I baptize with water. This time is one among you whom you know not. It's he who coming after me is preferred before me. I don't know. I don't know where kicking out Zoe stands on a scale of one to ten. What do you mean? I asked her to leave. Well, no, I insisted and told her not to come back. Oh, what has she done now? Drugs. Give over. Well, it all makes sense. The irrational behaviour, everything. Uh, hang on a minute. Who told you this? Paddy found her and she admitted it. So what do we do? Well, I've done it, haven't I? It's up to her whether she sinks or swims. Supposed to be gone. <laughs> How many second chances do people get? Yeah, but at least now we know what's going on. Maybe we can help her. Even I know addicts have got to want to change. Chris, she's hardly an addict. We don't know that. We can't turn our backs on her. We've got to help her. What? Find a reason to change. She's got good reason. If she gets her act together, she'll be welcome back eventually. She might even get to see her nephew again. You've not said she can't see Joseph. I'm not having him subjected to any more of it. Where are you going? To see if I can find her. Charity, don't bring her back. Is that you, Vicar? Oh, it's you. <laughs> You're lucky I was here. It's locked most of the time these days. Vandals. Even in a place like this. Oh, I'll let you get on. Pity more don't use this place for its intended purpose. Gloria Weaver that was used to do that side. Now she's found politics and Pollard. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, don't mind me. Hey, Bob, can you come for me later? Don't tell me. You want some quality time with your little ray of sunshine? Do you ever get the feeling that things are going a bit too well? You know, you just think it's going to go pear-shaped? Hey, if you can't enjoy it when it's going well, then what's the point? Anyway, you've survived a holiday together. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, you've passed the 24-7 test. All day, every day, just the two of you. Mm. Yeah, holidays soon find you out, you know. All those irritating little habits. Finding out you've got nothing to talk about. Is this the voice of experience? No, no, I never run out of conversation, me. Oh, although one short-lived girlfriend, Yvonne from Rochdale. Yeah, she told me off her rabbiting on too much. She's getting on her wick. I hadn't even gotten the plane going. <laughs> Anyway, I'm glad things are, you know, working out between you and Mark. Yeah, only because I've backed off. The more I nag him, the less he listens. Human nature, that. Fancy game with darts? No. No. You'll find out what he wants to do in his own time, I guess. Yeah. Me and Sean were always pretty laid back with a pair of them. Let them find out things for themselves. Best way. Till Mark kills someone in a stolen car. Kind of stretches just how laid back you can be with someone. Just a bit. If I could manage a ladder, I'd tackle those windows. I nearly asked that Daggett boy. And I thought, no, probably pinch the lead. Locking up time, is it, Vicar? 
Oh, you've done the craftsman that made them proud, Edna. Look at the grain. <laughs> 150 years old, and I bet they'll never look better. Now, I'll do the other side tomorrow. I never like to let my chores interfere with an act of worship. That's very considerate of you. Good night, Vicar. Night. Good night. I'll be locking up soon, Zoe. There's no rush when you're ready. I don't ever want to have a day like that ever again. You won't have to now. You've suspended her. It was either like sacking some dippy receptionist we've had for five minutes, is it? And I don't know whether it's legally binding or not. And worse than that, she's a friend. She's the one that gave me a chance. So you could do a job for her? No, I mean, it wasn't like that. It has been the last few months. To be honest with you, I just feel like packing it on you, live. No, you can't. You've done the hard bit. You just need a break, a chance to put things in perspective. There's a fat chance of that happening now. Are you? I, uh, I suppose Chris has told you about time. I can't believe it. Had he had no choice, he, he would have been justified in calling the police. Yeah, it's all right, Emily. I've not come here blaming anyone. I've just come to see if she was in here. Her and Chris have had a right ding-dong. Well, it's bound to happen sooner or later. He's kicked her out, though. <sighs> You're wet. Are you all right? Much better. You're cold. What happened? It's a journey, isn't it? I suppose it is. Signpost pointing this way, and that voice is telling you which direction to take. It's just a matter of choosing. Which is where I was going wrong. I, I was listening to them all at once, trying to. And that was no use, and the music was no good, no matter how loud, and the drinking was just making them confusing. Which is why I took something. Some drugs. Paddy told me, you know that's not the answer. We worked for a bit. Knocked me out, though, and gave Paddy and Emily the fright of their lives. And then I realised that the river, that along with all the other voices, telling me how evil I am. You're not evil. There is one special voice. And when the waters washed away my sins and drowned out my accusers, Loud and clear. This voice? You should know. When you suggested we eat, I thought you meant going into town. Oh, sorry, no, no, I'll just say local. Suits me. Any reason? Am I keeping you up? Hmm? Keep looking at your watch. Do I? Yeah. Maybe I was hoping it was bedtime. Hmm. Might be. What can I get you, sweet charity? Could I have two G&Ts a pack of lager? Listen, Bob, um, have you seen Zoe at all? No, we've, uh, we've been denied the pleasure. She's cleansing her soul. At church, every day this week. Perhaps she's hoping the Lord will cure her of her unnatural tendencies. Even it hasn't cured you of bad-mouthing people, has it? I'd best get over there. Listen, will you take the drinks over? It wouldn't do you any harm to get on your knees. More than 12 million people from all over the world. Now, I'll give us a break. I'm going down the pub. See this. What's up? It's the same one, isn't it? Yeah. Good evening. Nice set of wheels. I'm glad you seem to be finding solace in the scriptures. A sense that God is with you. It's not just a sense. No. He's the first one to understand how I've been feeling, and the last one I expected, but he knows how much I've been hurting, 
How lonely, how frightened, how misjudged. An awful lot of people care for you. They do, believe me. And there are people who can help. I don't need anyone now, thank the Lord. If one of my parishioners were to have a fall, break a leg, first I would call for an ambulance, arrange medical help, then I would pray for their recovery and thank God for the care and dedication of the medical team. You think I'm sick? Will you promise me you'll see your doctor again? If it's God's will. I'm sure it is. Shouldn't you know? It is, I know. I'm sorry, I believe it in my heart. Who sent you? I, I wondered if you were all right, so I'll... Get out. Get her out. Unless you told her to come. No, but, but you know Charity cares about you. Her? She used me. She's a vile harlot. You are? Who knows no shame. Look, Zoe, never mind about all that. I've come because you've blown it with Chris and probably Joseph too. I thought I might be able to help you. The Lord will take care of me. All right. And they'll provide you with a cardboard box, will he, when you're sleeping rough again? Zoe can stay at the vicarage. Let things settle down. Are you sure? And then she said she's really going to think about seeing the doctor again. Well, the sooner the better, eh? Get me out of here. Look, Zoe, we're all behind you, you know. Don't let them get me, Ashley. <laughs> 